Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for August 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to make a big old shout out to the Leos out there. Happy, happy birthday to you. We are in Leo season right now. And I want to make a big old shout out to the August Virgos out there. Yeah, happy birthday to you guys as well. So I am back to my old format. Um, I have one central intro that I have recorded for everybody that everybody's going to see the same old thing and then we'll get into the reading yes so you will find a timestamp in the comments section that's pinned at the very top that will take you to the beginning of the actual reading so if you're watching multiple videos and you don't want to watch the intro over and over again you can use that timestamp I do recommend that you watch it at least once just so that you can get the general information may clear up some questions you may have yeah so I would love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. You can find the links to my, my social media accounts, both Instagram and Facebook, in the description box below. But Instagram is at divine underscore conversations. And Facebook is facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. Yes, which is very similar to my actual email address. All right. These are a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below, including the readings that I offer. So just read through that and then hit me up. Let me know which reading you would like. If you can't decide if, or if you have trouble, go ahead and email me anyway and describe the situation a little bit and I will absolutely help you choose. Yeah. If you would like to get a, a personal reading, um, I do recommend that you reach out either via email or at the very least through Instagram. Um, I don't recommend that you send me a message on Facebook because I do not always get those right away. I, I've noticed that I, oh, first of all, I don't get a notification from Facebook saying that I have um, messages on that page. Um, so often when I find them, it's like, maybe sometimes days later. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so for those of you that kind of missed out or got lost or something, I apologize for that. But Facebook isn't the best way to reach out to me. You can reach out on Instagram. I do get those notifications and I do see that. I, I do check that more often. But ultimately, I'm really just going to send you to email. All right. So you might as well just, you know, cut the extra steps and just email me. Okay. Because that's really where I handle all of the personal readings. Keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So yes, this is a message coming through that's dated for August of 2019, but it does not have to resonate now. We could be talking about a situation that happened months prior, or we could talk about something that could be coming on months in advance. I do recommend that maybe you check in maybe at the, at the end of the month if you are catching this towards the beginning of the month to see if it resonates for you. But either way, or to see how it resonates for you, but either way, whenever you watch the video and it resonates at that time, then that is the message for you at that time, regardless of the date. Also, keep in mind that for the cross watchers out there, I am speaking directly to the zodiac sign in question, okay? But if you're watching the reading and it's resonating for you, then take that message. Okay. So what I may be saying for the Zodiac sign in question, let's say Aries or Leo, and you don't have that placement or you're not looking at it because you have Aries or Leo in your chart. And yet what I'm saying is resonating for you. Then maybe that message is in fact for the cross watcher and not the actual Zodiac sign in question. Again, it's a general reading. Take it as it resonates, but also please do not try to fit something into your life or into the, the situation that doesn't fit already. Like if you're watching and you're saying to yourself, Hmm, he's saying this, but that really doesn't resonate with my situation. Then let it go. Don't take it. Okay. Cause that means it's just not a message for you again general reading yeah okay um i guess that's it so with that said why don't we get started to, with the reading yeah <laughs> hey there leo welcome to your reading for august 2019 thank you so much for tuning in a very very happy birthday to all my leos out there officially in western astrology we are in leo season right now and that is beautiful Happy birthday to you guys. So getting into your reading straight away, um, as I was channeling your energy, I was seeing green and I saw and I heard heart centered activity. OK, um, and then as I was, you know, pulling cards, you know, I, I have your pre shuffle here. First, first card that came out was the three of pentacles, 
which is a rebuilding, okay? There is definitely a rebuilding happening for you. Um, Queen of Wands came out, and then also the Three of Swords came out, and then at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Page of Cups. The Queen of Wands energy is definitely you, okay? This is you gaining your confidence back, rebuilding your life after some sort of heartbreak has ensued. Now, the interesting thing about this is that as cards were coming out, this Queen of Wands energy was kind of turning sideways. So I don't know if you're feeling all that confident in yourself right now. I'm getting a feeling that for some of you, um, you're not so sure about this. <laughs> uh, you're maybe not even so sure about the rebuilding that you're needing to do. This Three of Swords energy could be could have been a breakup, um, a loss, tragedy, a struggle, some drama I'm hearing. And we know Leos are no stranger to drama, but hey, it's all good. Um, <clears throat> this definitely could have been a, a heartbreak, a loss of a relationship, or maybe a loss of an opportunity. This even could be career, financially, whatnot, whatever. Whatever that would be, to um, you know, break your heart in some way, maybe even cause you to lose some confidence within yourself, I do see you gaining that back and rebuilding. For some of you specifically, it looks like you're actually, you actually may be getting into some sort of build, business or building a business surrounding some sort of heartbreak you've experienced in the past, okay? With the Page of Cups energy, this I feel like is you entering into a new emotional reality. This could be the dreamer energy, it could be an apology i am hearing i'm sorry some of you may want to um, apologize to someone may want to reconcile with someone some of you may be wanting to reconcile with a specific person but not feeling that you are good enough not feeling that you are secure or solid enough that you that you're not or at least not feeling confident in yourself enough to reconcile with this person that, that if and, and if obviously if you don't if you have a situation in which you're not looking to reconcile with the individual then obviously that's not for you so don't worry about it but if you are may, if you are this leo energy that wants to reconcile with a specific person you might be regaining your strength you might be working on it okay but the biggest thing that i'm i'm getting with this page of cups energy as in the overall energy in your in your pre-shuffle here is just a new emotional reality all right Coming to terms with some things on the surface in order for you to dive deeper is something that I just heard. That's really beautiful, Leo. Okay, great. So let's see what else we've got here for you. Let me give you just a second here. Let me just reshuffle this real quick. Ooh, the hanged man just fell out. Okay, you could be dealing with a Pisces. Six of Cups also. Um, you might have Pisces in your chart. But some of you re really have been going through a very, you've been stuck and you've been stagnant around something that is stems from your childhood or stems from something in the past. Some of you may have recently come into a situation or a realization, gained some enlightenment or a new understanding, a different perspective or a different way of seeing some sort of a relationship from your past, which could be you, Leo. I feel like this is specifically a masculine Leo, a male or just an individual that is more resonant with masculine energy, or maybe you're just in the masculine energy right now because you wanna take action. But I feel like that really could be you've come, you've gained some sort of new insight. You've come to, to some sort of enlightenment surrounding uh, a deep connection that you may have with someone, i.e. a soulmate. However you de define it, it doesn't really matter. But that's causing you to want to reconcile specifically, okay? Now, for others of you, this could mean that you're in a place where maybe you know you need to reconcile, but you don't quite know how to do it yet. And so you're in the process of gaining some sort of new uh, perspective, some sort of enlightenment here surrounding that. That's beautiful, Leo. And yes, it does. It's stuck. Hey, it can be really tough and tricky. You might be feeling really stagnant and all that, but... It's this uncomfortable phase of stepping out of or being pushed out of your comfort zone that's going to help you gain a new perspective. All right? So let's get into the rest of it, Leo. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leos at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for August 2019.
Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, I'm going to give this five shuffles, Leo. And yes, in fact, I am seeing yellow, and I'm hearing the sun is shining. Now, the sun in Western astrology, the sun is, as of this moment that I'm recording this video, the sun is in Leo. So that makes perfect sense. All right? That's one. But also, this could mean illumination is coming to you, okay? Your, I'm hearing your fears have risen but are also being eradicated, all right? So that's the sun may be illuminating how some of your fears that are coming forward for you right now really have no real merit to them. And you're starting to learn how you don't have to give in to your fears like that, or maybe in the way you have in the past. That's excellent, Leo. Shuffle number two for my Leos. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August, number three. Leo, Leo, Leo. Four. And five. All right. Let's cut the deck here for my Leos. Best messages, please, Spirit. <clears throat> All right. Overall energy for your month of August, Leo, you have. Ooh, OK, that's interesting. The page of swords. Now, the page of swords is reversed and I don't I'm not reading reversals in this deck. And yet somehow this card came into reverse. OK, I'm going to leave it that way. All right. Um, because, hey. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it this way for now. But the Page of Swords in reverse is literally speaking to not seeking new information anymore. Um, or if you are seeking information, you're going within, okay? You're looking for this externally. It could either be that you're not looking for any, any more external information or validation um, because you understand, I mean, you know enough or you, you know enough that you need to right now, or um, you are, you're going within to find the energy, okay? To find the energy, to find the information. Also, maybe you're not watching somebody anymore potentially, okay, or someone's not watching you anymore. You have the three of wands here. But see, what this page of swords energy really feels like is you have the truth, the knowledge that you need in order to invest, in order to keep momentum going, in order to now wait for some sort of return on an investment, okay? Under the three of wands, woo, you've got the tower here, Leo. And under the tower, you have the six of swords. Excellent. So... <laughs> um, you may not be stalking somebody anymore. You, may, what I really, feel, what I'm really feeling with this, Leo, is that you a lesson has been learned here, and now you can move forward. There really may have been some sort of really strong event. This could happen through the month of August at some point. Okay, keep in mind that energies are fluid. Time is an illusion, all right? So this either could be in the month of August for you, or maybe this happened, you know, prior to, before August came around. I just feel like you were in, some of you, Leo, you may have been in a situation where you were seeking truth. You were seeking information. You were trying to understand something. And either a tower moment happened or a tower moment is coming that's going to allow you to see clearly, to, to say, to help you understand that you are in fact on the right path or that's going to give you some sort of information you were seeking for moving forward on your path. And now you can move forward from this situation with the Six of Swords, okay? Yeah. All right, Leo. So let's get into the rest of your reading here, first half and second half. You can look at this as first half, second half of your month, or you can look at it as first half, second half of your reading, whatever resonates more with you, okay? First set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, in the first half of your reading, you have the Nine of Cups, satisfaction. I do feel, I mean, especially in, you know, this season, this is Leo season, okay? So I do feel like you're, you're getting a lot of satisfaction right now celebrating your birthday, whatnot, whatever. But also, though, this just feel like whatever massive change happened here, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. The, uh, you could also be dealing with a Gemini. Um, but this, 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 this 
change, this massive change, maybe even an explosion, just an, an, maybe even an abrupt change in your life is bringing some sort of satisfaction towards you, okay? Nine of Cups is coupled with, oof, the Nine of Swords though. Are you freaking out about this, Leo? This almost feels like an energy of, uh, should I really be this happy? Do I need to be this happy? Or do I deserve to be this happy? Of course you do. Why wouldn't you, Leo? Why wouldn't you? Like, in all honesty. Now, for some of you, this does feel like you are getting to, you're like, you're stressing out about this. It could be a situation in which, you know, the tower struck and now, you know, things are, are falling to pieces around you and yet you're not upset about it, but you not being upset about it is causing anxiety. For others of you, um, you're stressing out because you want this satisfaction, but you don't know how you're going to get it. And then for others of you, it's literally you're in between. It's a push and pull. You're in between feeling happy and satisfied and being fulfilled and yet anxious still. That's quite interesting, Leo. Second set of surrounding energies for you in your month of August, you have the Ace of Wands. This could be new passionate, I'm hearing a new, new love, new passionate experience. Um, creativity, drive, creative drive, creative vision. What I'm also feeling for you, Leo, is that you have inspiration in some way to move in a new direction. And that could be what would bring you this satisfaction with the Nine of Cups, but you're still freaking out about it somehow. And it kind of feels like an energy of how do I how do I get this off the ground? How do I complete this? How do I do this? For some of you, this could be that um, maybe you're 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 creating a new business. You're starting a new business venture. And the fact that you're start you have this creative direction or this creative inspiration, and the fact that you're even starting this venture is bringing you a great deal of satisfaction. It, that in and of itself is a wish come true. Okay, a wish granted, a dream come true, what not, a wish fulfilled. But yet there's still anxiety about how to move forward, how to continue to flesh it out. Okay, that makes sense. Ace of Wands is coupled with the Five of Pentacles. You know, there goes that, that energy that the Three of Swords may have been speaking to in the beginning of, like in your pre-shuffle here, Leo. Um, it feels like you are, in fact, inspired to leave some sort of Um, feelings of lack behind, believing that you're not good enough, believing that you are inadequate in some way, that you'll never have enough, a lack mentality. I, have, I absolutely feel like this tower energy, for the most part, this tower energy does feel like it happened in the, in the past, before, prior to reaching August. But again, this is a general reading, so it doesn't have to be that way, okay? But this absolutely inspired you to come out of this lack mentality here, this Five of Pentacles energy. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Leo, you have justice, okay? Um, allowing the chips to fall where they are or where they will. You, cannot, you can't really hold too much concern for how something is really going to affect others if you are doing what is in alignment with you, what is right for you. And that's kind of where I'm getting that Nine of Cups, Nine of Swords energy. Holy shit, I'm really happy, but holy shit, what is this doing to the other people around me? Well, in all honesty, in all honesty, Leo, the other people are getting their comeuppance too. They're getting their own justice too. So you got to just let the chips fall where they will. You can't control that. The only thing you can control, Leo, is your own vibration or resonance to the situation. The only thing you can control is how you show up in the situation. You can't control what anybody else creates for themselves, okay? Justice is coupled with the hermit. <laughs> wow. The challenge here is to shine your light. Allow others to deal with finding their own light. 
And you could absolutely be a beacon for them, but they have to go through their own process. You can't do it for them. You could be dealing with a Libra or a, a, a Virgo. You could have either of those in your chart. Your challenge here, Leo, is letting your light shine. Regardless of how it may affect others. Now, I'm not saying to go out there all willy-nilly and just like, you know, do what do you in complete disregard for the other lives or whatever around you. That's not what I'm saying here. What I'm saying is if you are on your path, if you're doing what's right for you, if you're living your best life, if you're working on being the best version of yourself that you can be, then ultimately you will be taken care of and you really can't hold too much concern for how that affects other people. Again, I'm not saying that you need that that this is a uh, uh, um what's the phrase I'm looking for? I'm not saying this gives you an express right to go around hurting people. That's not what we're saying here. All right? Now, for some of you Leos, the justice that you are dealing with here, absolutely in return to in terms of, you know, this tower energy that's coming through, that justice that could be coming through for you may be from a lack of introspection. And so now your challenge is to go within and, and clean some stuff up so that, you know, you're not generating negative karma for yourself. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Leo, you have the Ten of Wands. And I want to say, with this, I want to say facing the music. What are you burdened by? What are you carrying that is so burdensome for you? Face it is what I just heard. The Ten of Wands is coupled with the Nine of Pentacles. Interesting. For some of you, this is your, you've taken on so much just so that you could have some sort of independence. But the biggest one that I'm getting is that you have to allow yourself to release some of these burdens in order for you to truly be independent and free. And again, that comes with you doing your own inner work. And so when you put your own inner work into practice, right, the things that you learn about yourself and about the universe, whatnot, whatever, the law of attraction, however you want to say it, when you put that into practice, you will be or will also be needing to be letting go of some of these burdens to claim your independence. And that means others are going to have to step up and pick up some of the slack where maybe they have been requiring you to do so. Mm -hmm. you, you, I, you can't control someone else's karmic justice. All you can control is your own. All right, Leo? Getting into the second half of your reading here for a set of surrounding energies, you've got the Five of Swords. Okay, lose-lose situations. Now, for some of you that are really going to be um, claiming, reclaiming your independence here, there are people that are not going to like that. Backstabbing energy. Misery loves company. And for some of you, they've just been trying to keep you down this whole time. Keep you at their level. But you're rising above. Or at least you have the opportunity to do so, okay? Five of Swords is coupled with the Knight of Wands. Yes, as you step into your light, your truth, your torchbearer status, your light worker status, whatever, however you want to describe it, there are others that are going to want to cut you down. But recognize, Leo, Recognize, Leo, that you don't want to get involved with that because they're only creating negative karma for themselves by not doing their own inner work and in turn trying to keep someone else down for doing theirs. All right? Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Leo, you have the Six of Pentacles. This, I really feel like this is you, okay? This is you wanting to be balanced. Um, I'm hearing... Having a balance, balancing your ego also, um, wanting to balance your give and take, as, not just like in relationships, especially in relationships, but also with some sort of light work torchbearer aspect to your life, 
um, career-wise. I do feel like some of you may be getting into some sort of humanitarian system, uh, humanitarian um, endeavor, wanting to give back. That may be that Three of Pentacles energy that was coming forward, some sort of entrepreneurial endeavor in order to incite change for the better, maybe in your community or something like that, which is really beautiful. And it's absolutely a tower moment that's struck here that has helped influence you to move in this direction. And that's really, really fantastic, Leo. Six of Pentacles is coupled with the King of Swords. There it is, the Aquarian energy. The, the, uh, the King of Swords represents Aquarius, okay? Um, technically, because it is the, the fixed energy, the fixed signs, well, the fixed air sign is, is Aquarius. It doesn't have to be Aquarius. It could be Gemini or Libra. But what I was speaking to about the humanitarianism, there it is right there in the King of Swords with, the, with, with, the, with the, the Aquarius energy. Because I personally do see the Aquarius as the humanitarian of the Zodiac, okay? Um, but the King of Swords here is also the judge, the diplomat, all right? He's, he seeks diplomacy, he seeks balance, seeing things clearly as they truly are. So some of you may actually be adopting this King of Swords energy in order to understand what's truly balanced and what's, what's truly in balance or out of balance in your life and making changes accordingly from there. Again, if those changes affect someone else and that effect has, is not so desirable or favorable for them, as long as you're taking this from a balanced perspective, you can't really do anything about the suffrage they may ensue because literally they've only brought it on themselves. Especially if this is a situation in which um, you have been taking up on burdens for others that weren't necessarily yours to take on. And we'll say what, they were just like slacking or whatnot. They didn't wanna take responsibility for something so you were picking up the slack for them. Well, at some point, they're gonna have to face the music, aren't they? You can't change that for them. And the more you try and change that for them, the more you try to hide that from them, the, the more you delay their growth, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, you have the Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy, compassion, understanding, empathy, but specifically, this is being compassionate and loving someone from afar. Even though you're picking up on their troubles, you're picking up on their emotions, you're, you know they may be going through something, you're feeling that empathy that, uh, you may be an empath, but you're feeling that empathy, you're feeling whatever it is that's you know hurting them, you gotta love them from afar. Because again, you can't change their healing process for them. You can't do their healing for them. So it might be a real challenge, all right? For some of you, empathy is opening up for you. And that's the challenge right there. Maybe you're starting to feel things you never felt before. Queen of Cups is coupled with the Eight of Cups. You see, Leo, walking away. Even though, even though you might feel all kinds of stuff, but also walking away with unconditional love in your heart. Empathy, compassion, understanding. Okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Leo, you have the Knight of Swords. More Gemini energy. Charging into battle. Very much a shoot first, ask questions later. Uh, there could be some pretty serious talks some pretty serious conversations. This could be an extension of this Five of Swords energy that we have here. So you may need to be on the defensive here of someone trying to come forward and, I don't know, tell you about yourself, read you the riot act, say how you can't do this, you can't do that. Coming at you with some form of conformity is what I'm hearing. Knight of Swords is coupled with the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you need to be on the defensive. You need to protect yourself. Now, these are others. Ooh, wow, okay. So this either could be you where someone's coming at you feeling a certain type of way and you know, you're getting it from left, right, and center, all right? 
with this Nine of Wands and the Knight of Swords, but also this could be that other person that's really feeling battered and bruised. And it's I, what, I, what I just heard is needing someone to blame other than their own selves. Because it feels like they're not really of the personal fortitude to take responsibility for their actions. But that does not necessarily, that, that in no way means that you need to continue doing that for them. Absolutely not. Because again, the more you try and do that for them, Leo, the more you enable them, and thus the, the more you prolong their healing process and their strengthening, their fortification. Yes? Okay. So let's get into your oracle message now to close out your reading here. For August 2019, from a Leo's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more shuffle. All right. Here we go. Best message, please, Spirit, for Leo for August 2019. Leo's sun, moon, rising, and Venus. There it is. Oh, Lord in heaven. Card number five, Leo. Follow your own rhythm. Lord have mercy. Can you say tower moment? Because I can. <laughs> All right, card number five. Okay, here we go. Deep within, you are moved by an ancient, powerful force that cannot be tamed. It is the rising pulse of your connection to the life force. You feel it in your bones, in your blood, in your heart, and in your belly. When there is something dying within, you sense it falling away, no longer needed. You sense when it is of agitation, I'm sorry, you sense when it is time to rest and be patiently Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, let me say that again. You sense when it is time to rest and be patiently in transition. You feel the stirring of agitation and restlessness when new life calls you to create, to act, to step forward, and to take a risk. You know that you march to your own beat, that no one else can tell you what your inner rhythms are, and that you must trust in your own timing. You cannot be rushed or forced, nor can you be held back when it is time to burst forward. Life celebrates and supports the natural rise and fall of your inner rhythms. This oracle brings you the special message that you cannot miss what you are destined for, nor will you gain anything by trying to push yourself. Trust in the cycles within, and you will feel the perfect balance between effort and surrender, discipline and letting go. When it is time for the rhythm of rest, you will feel a natural slowing within and be drawn into contemplation and environments that are more gentle, spacious, or nourishing, and perhaps more peaceful. When the rhythm of play beats in your heart, you will reach out to others to connect, dance, converse, sing, make music, make love, and share your wildness. You will be drawn to uplifting groups and places where you can experience a positive energetic exchange. Your needs will be met in harmony with your own rhythms. All that you will miss out on by trusting this is anxiety. What you, what you will gain is peace. If you have, oh, no. We haven't pulled that card. That's okay. Oh. Um, sorry, guys. I'm just going to read this paragraph. If you have pulled the inner trust card or feel intuitively guided to read that message now, this oracle has an even stronger message for you that you must surrender your attachment to doing things the way others think that they should be done. Whether that be the hours that you sleep or the way you structure your day or your creative work. You must honor your need for rest and replenishment as well as your need for play. Sometimes an afternoon nap or trip to the beach will do far more than for you than slogging away when you are mentally depleted and in need of rest. Sometimes you need to work when the energy is flowing, even though others may say it's too much and you must stop now. You are an empowered individ individual and you have the intelligence and wisdom to choose for yourself. 
Experiment with what works best for you and tailor your lifestyle so that it nourishes your best self into being. So there you have it, Leo. Thank you so much for tuning, tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. With that, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of September. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!